Hello friends, welcome to the part 2 of the account assignment category configuration. In our last video, we saw what are the screen configurations related to a particular account assignment category. This time, we are going to see the detailed information part of the account assignment category, all these control functions which are there as part of the account assignment category configuration. We will see today and discuss them. So let's start. So the first checkbox which is available here is account assignment changeable. Now if this checkbox is selected then once you do the GR in a purchase order with this account assignment category after that GR also you will be able to change the account assignment category details. For example you have created a PO line item with account assignment K. If this checkbox is not available as it is visible right now then if you create the PO, you enter some cost center or multiple cost centers and then if you do the GR, after you have done at least one GR, you will not be able to change the cost center or the GL that is the details you have entered against the account assignment category. Let's see that. So I'll go to ME21N and we'll enter other various details which are required to be for creation of the purchase order. So I'll go to the organization data. I have everything here. I'll enter the account assignment categories K. Again, I'll be buying some chairs. Let's say that I'm buying 10 quantity. I'll enter some unit price. Then other details like material group, plant. Now you see you have to enter the GL account and the cost center as per the account assignment category configuration. So I'll enter the GL account and I'll enter a cost center here. Let's press enter. Now I have entered all the details which is required here. So I'll save this purchase order. Now our purchase order is saved. Now let's do a GR against this purchase order. Okay. So we'll go to MIGO and we'll create the GR for some partial quantity. Let's say that we are going to create for five quantity, five chairs. Let us post this document. You see the GR has been posted. Now let us go and change the account assignment category for this purchase order. If I go to this PO, I'm in display mode. Let me just change it. Now, if I go to and if I try to change the cost center in this particular purchase order, you can see that I'm not able to change this because I have already posted a GR. So I'm no longer able to change this particular cost center in GL account. So this checkbox, because of this checkbox in the account assignment category K configuration, this account assignment changeable is not ticked. Now let us tick this and then test it. So I'll save. Okay, so I have saved this particular configuration. Now let us create a purchase order again. Again, I'll create the purchase order with these details. I'll enter the account assignment category, enter all those details here. Let's again create for 10 quantity. Again, I'll enter the GL account and the cost center and we'll save this purchase order. Now let us create GR against this purchase order. I'll create for some partial quantity again. So I'll create for five again and I'll post the GR. 
Now, if I go to the change PO transaction again, let's go to ME22N and let's see whether we are able to change the cost center or not. So again, I am in this particular account, in this purchase order and you can see that these cost center and GLs are now editable. Although I have created a GR for 5 quantity, you can see in the purchase order history, the quantity 5 GR has been created. But if I go to the account assignment tab, I can still change the cost center and the GL account. This is because I have configured this particular account assignment category that the account assignment is changeable even if I have created a GR. So if I again go to this K cost center, I can see that this checkbox I had ticked. So because of this checkbox, system is allowing me to change the cost center and GL account even if I have created the GR. So this is the significance of this checkbox. Then let's go to this checkbox. This is account assignment changeable at IR. Now what does this mean? This means that even if you have created a GR, you will be able to change the account assignment category while do we, you are doing the MIRO transaction. Let's say that you have entered a cost center and a GL account against account assignment category K in your PO. You create the GR and when you do the MIRO, you will be able to change that cost center and GL which you had created in the purchase order. The only prerequisite is that the GR that you are posting, no financial document should get posted in that GR. That is, either you are posting a non-valuated GR or you are not posting any GR and you are doing the MIRO directly. That is the prerequisite for this particular checkbox. Let's see that. So what I am going to do is, I am going to create a purchase order. Let me just come out of this transaction. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a purchase order line item. Let's just create in this line only. So I'll just copy this line. Okay. And this time what I'm going to do is my prerequisite is that I have to go to the delivery tab. Either I have to click this checkbox that is GR non-valuated so that no FI document get posted or I'll have to remove this checkbox so that no goods receipt happen. Okay. So let's let me just uh, click this checkbox and post a GR first. Now this time when I post the GR it will be non-valuated means no FI document will get posted only quantity posting will happen in this GR. Let me just save this. Now let us post the GR for this particular PO line item that is item 2. So I'll copy this PO and let's do the GR. So I'll go to transaction Myco and let's enter goods receipt against this purchase order and this time I'm going to do GR against item 2. It is the second item of the PO. Now I'll again post for quantity 5 and let us post this. So you see the document has been posted. Let's see whether any FI document has been created or not. If I go to the FI document, in the document info, if you click on the FI documents, you can see that no subsequent document has been found in accounting. Now, why this has happened? Because we have done a non-valuated GR. If we go to the purchase order, let's see the purchase order. For item 2, you can see, if you go to the delivery tab, you can see that we have ticked the GR non-valuated checkbox here. So, once you have created the GR, no FI document will get posted. And now as per the configurations of the account assignment, I can change this account assignment details in the MIRO transaction. Uh, let's see the account assignment category configuration also. So this particular checkbox we were discussing. So this is AA changeable at IR means account assignment details changeable at IR. So let's do a MIRO transaction. Let's see whether we can change the account assignment details or not. So I'll go to the transaction Miro and let's enter this purchase order number and item 2. Let's enter some required information. Now you see here this particular button that you see this is for account assignment details that is the account assignment which is derived from the purchase order if i click this particular button so you can see here that the cost center is editable i can change this particular cost center so let's just change the cost center here so i'll just enter 
another cost center here and I can change the GL account also. So these account assignment details that has flown from the purchase order to the micro transaction I am able to change and this is because this particular checkbox in the account assignment category has been configured. Let's see that configuration. So you can see here that I have changed this particular cost center and then I can post the micro transaction. So this is the significance of this particular checkbox that if you click this checkbox then you can change the account assignment while doing the micro transaction. Now let us change this setting. I will just switch off this checkbox and save this particular account assignment category and this time again we will go to the micro transaction and see whether system allows me to change the account assignment details or not. So we'll go to the transaction Miro and we'll enter the purchase order again. So let me enter the item number two and let's see whether we can change the account assignment or not. You can see here the account assignment button is not appearing now. So whatever document this time gets posted, it will get posted in the same account assignment details which has been entered in the purchase order. That is the cost center and the GL account. I am no longer able to change the account assignment details by that button. That button is not available. So this is the significance of this particular checkbox that if you have activated this checkbox, then you will be able to change the account assignment details while doing the micro transaction only requirement is that you have to post a non-valuated GR that is you have to click this checkbox in your purchase order line item this is non-valuated GR in the delivery tab this should be there or you have to switch off both these checkboxes that is you are not supposed to do any GR directly you will be doing the micro transaction and there you will be able to change the account assignment which is available in the purchase order line item these GL and cost center. So any other account assignment if you configure like this then you will be able to change the account assignment details in the Miro transaction. So that is the significance of this particular checkbox. So we have discussed the account assignment changeable checkbox and this AA changeable at IR checkbox. In our next video we will discuss other configurations. So that's all for today. I hope you have liked this video. If you like my videos then please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.